So if you're still figuring out what to do this Labor Day weekend, look no further than Dockside Seafood and Grill in Brantford. It's the premier place to wine and dine while enjoying gorgeous water views. Joining me here in the kitchen are the Sassy Seafood Sisters, Tracy Planishek and Susan Jaska. Nice to have you both Hello. here. Hello. Thanks for having us. Uh, what beautiful pictures we just saw. That's hey, your deck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're right in the marina looking at the water. Beautiful. And the sunset pictures are from this year. That's great. We always have a beautiful sunset. And you could dine outside. You could have drinks outside. Yeah, both. inside, outside. We have two bars. We have a you know full service restaurant, and we're right in Bruce and Johnson's Marina. Very nice. And do we need a reservation or? No, we don't take reservations. But we can do a call ahead if there's a wait. Sometimes people call and get on the list before they get there. But very nice. Yeah, coming after Labor Day, you should be okay with. Uh, with the long waits. Got it. All right, let's talk about uh, what's on the menu today. Well, today we're going to do our famous lobster <laughs> pot pie. It's a popular item. I'm going to say it's one of my favorite dishes, it's but my it is favorite. probably. Is it? Yeah, this is probably my fourth favorite dish. It's my favorite. But yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. So, um, all right, how do we get started? Okay, so um, in this pot right here, we have a little bit of lobster stock. So um, we make the lobster stock at the restaurant, and you make it just like chicken stock at home, but we take our shellfish from lobsters and shrimp, the, all the shells, mm -hmm. put them in a pot with water, put some carrots, some celery, oh. a little bit of um, bay leaf in there. We let that all cook together, and then we strain it all, and we come up with this yummy, um, you know, fabulous stock. Base, right? Okay, That's this we're base, using it? Okay. exactly. Okay, so then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to a simmer or a boil, and we're going to add some um, fresh vegetables. So we're going to add our carrots, onions, celery, and then we take corn right off the cob. Oh. Okay, and we're going to cook this until they're all tender. So we're, I'm going to add this right now before it, it starts going here, okay? And then also in here, a little bit of bay leaf. Okay, it. so it adds great flavor. And now all these vegetables are gonna stay in our pot pie. All right, Makes so sense. just like a chicken pot pie, you have vegetables in that, okay? So this is gonna come up to a simmer, and we're gonna cook these until they're tender. It's gonna take a little bit. Sure. It takes a few but, minutes. You know, we should mention that while this is starting to cook, it's not just seafood on your menu. Oh no, we have um, really delicious prime rib, we have sandwiches, burgers, steaks, chicken, pasta. A little bit of everything, right? A little bit of everything. And you also do private parties, you have some rooms available? Yep, we, have, we do private parties all the way through until Christmas. And um, yeah, we've been doing a whole bunch of parties this year. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's we wonderful. have live music too this year. Oh, that's an added yeah, bonus outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah, oh, that's been really that. fun. Yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sunday nights. Yeah. So we have the Labor Day weekend coming up. Yeah. But next year, from Memorial Day through Labor Day, we'll be having mu live music again. Yeah, great place to spend the summer, right? Yeah. <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely. And we'll be closing soon, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. October seventeenth will be our last day this year. It's on a, on a Friday night, okay. and then we do private parties. You know, throughout, throughout, throughout the, the end of the year. Yep. Got it. Okay, right. so when the vegetables get tender, then we're going to go and we're going to add a little bit of our heavy cream. That's allowed. <laughs> yep, it's allowed. So, you know, this is where at home, if you wanted to lighten it up a little bit, this is where you could do that. Okay, a little bit of heavy cream. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of marinara sauce. It's just a basic marinara that we have in the restaurant. Okay. And it adds a little bit of flavor, but then it adds a little bit of color too to it. Okay, and nice. it, it starts that nice, actually lobster, nice coral color. Yeah. Yeah, it gets that pinky color. And this is going to simmer. Um, while the vegetables get tender. And then um, at the restaurant, we have something called a lobster base, okay. like a chicken base or a beef broth, um, beef bouillon. Okay, okay so right. it's a very concentrated flavor. And we do use a little bit of that in this um, dish. So we're gonna take it, and you can see it's very concentrated in flavor and, um, and in color. Got it. All right, and that's gonna add a nice little lobster flavor to the whole dish. Okay, right. and as that's simmering. You could get that at like a seafood store or something okay, like so that. Okay, so it's pretty readily happen. available. Yes. Or we'll just it come is. to the restaurant. I yeah. actually <laughs> want to say we could get it, you can get it probably in Stop and Shop now. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely around. Um, and we're gonna add a little sherry. Very good. Okay, and we're gonna, again, um, like a, the, one of the dishes we've done before, we're not gonna flame this dish. Um, we're gonna let the alcohol kind of just simmer out of it, and it leaves behind a nice sweet flavor. Oh, I'm starting to smell it. It smells you great. Can. Yeah, yeah, definitely, really definitely. Good. So um, once this starts, the vegetables start to get tender, we're gonna add a little bit of a roux. 
Are you a cook at home? A roux, no, but I did spend some time in Louisiana, so I'm familiar with a okay. roux for gumbo. Right, yep. exactly, <laughs> definitely. So a roux is equal parts of fat and flour, and you just cook it on the stovetop, and it thickens your sauces or your gravies. So we're gonna add a little bit of roux to this, and then as it's simmering, and it comes up to a boil, it's gonna thicken the whole dish. It does take a few minutes to do. All right. Okay. It's pretty easy, and I noticed there's kind of a pastry on top of this. I guess that makes the pot pie. Oh, part yes. Of it, right? That's, that's the delicious part. <laughs> the well, it's part. all delicious, yeah. Yeah, what we do is um, we roll out a, a puff pastry dough, mm -hmm. and then you kind of want to cut it to the, uh, this is the, you know, the, you know, the finished product here. Cut it to the size where you want, a little bit bigger, so that you can fold it over, and then we just bake it right on top. Wow, that's phenomenal. Yeah. So <laughs> just before we get to that step, to this we've added cooked potatoes. Okay. Okay, and after this thickens to the point where you like it, add um, your cooked potatoes to it. And then on top of this, Susan's going to add the lobster meat. Because yeah. you can't you have go. a lobster yep. pot pie without yeah. a lot of lobster meat. Well, yeah, and we put the lobster, you know, stock and stuff is in there, but we like to have the big chunks we of lobster the in the pot <laughs> pie. So we add that in right on top. Wow, what a dish. This has got to be a Oh, it's sinful. Hot it's item, so right? it's delicious. Sinful. <laughs> we sell so many of these. Oh, it looks great. There you go. And then we put the... Oh, there you go. Fits the right The crust over. right on top, like a pie. Yep, you just seal it around the and edges. And then just seal it around. And if you bake it in, in a traditional oven at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes, or you can cook it in a convection oven for a little bit less time. And then it gets nice and brown on top. Looks beautiful. And nice and crispy. Have you guys always worked together? Is this a new endeavor? <laughs> oh, no. We've you always could, been together. We've, yeah, we've always we've been both, together? Yep. Yeah, well, this is, you know, we're stepsisters for years wow. and years and years since yep. we were, I think, in middle school. Yeah. Um, and um, we've owned the restaurant now. This is our sixth yep. summer. Yeah, six um, years. But owners. we were working there beforehand yeah, as we bartenders for the and waitresses. Oh, I see. Waitressing, bartending, and well, then, yeah. So deserve we've been there the title. Since the beginning, yeah. Sassy yep. Seafood Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> this looks fantastic. We'll have the recipe on our website. And of course, to find out more about Dockside Seafood and Grill, located at 145 Black Island Road in Brantford, you can uh, check them out there. I know you have a new website. Website also, yep, definitely. Uh, or you can call 203-488-3007 or check out DocSideBranford.com. Well, this looks wonderful, ladies. Thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you very much for having us. Uh,